I remember when I was three or four year old, the bamboo little houses will be burning, the Japanese were bombing there all the time and people will be hiding in the caves and suddenly they were all supplicated inside. I was born in Yangzhou, which is a very small town, an ancient town, about 100 miles north of Shanghai. The Japanese invented Yangzhou. That year was 1937. I was about six months old. My father was left behind in Yangzhou to do some business. He advised us to to escape first. We left Yangzhou and went by ship from Yangzhou to a city called Wuhan to meet him after he finished his business. After he took care of the business, he tried to escape. Then my father was on a bus, and the bus was crowded with people. People had their luggage, and all the luggage uh, on both sides of the seats. And my father was so tired, he fell, he fell asleep on the bus. The soldier stopped the bus, and then gun, sprayed the gun, and killed all the passengers on the bus. All the soldiers get on the bus, they try to find out whether anybody is still alive. And my father woke up and they used him as to do neighbor work. Yeah, to carry the luggages and to carry the bodies. So my father was with the Japanese soldier for a couple of days. He knew that area very well because he grew up in that area. So he had the idea to escape. That means to swim from the north bank of river from Yangzhou to the southern bank. It was winter time. He had a silk coated long rope on his body to keep warm. The rope was made by my grandmother. Now in the corner each side he sold in some big silver dollars. So he jumped into the river, it's a silk, very light and can float on the water. So my father doesn't know how to swim. But he floated on the water and I don't know how he did it. He arrived to the other side of the river. It was not occupied by the Japanese yet. So he got there and he doesn't have any money. He found out in the four corner of his long silk robe, there were several silver dollars. He used the money to buy the fare for the ship to go to meet my mother. While my mother was waiting for him for over a week, then he, one night, my mother heard the footsteps of my father. When she opened the door, it was a surprise. Everything that happened during the war or during the lives in Chongqing helps me to understand life. No matter how hard it is, you can get through it.